Hello everyone, welcome back to Tognizant channel. My name is Rameshwar and today I would like to share an interesting Java interview question. So in this video, we will be understanding the problem statement and then we will discuss the best possible approaches to solve the problem and, and at last we will also implement the solution. One quick disclaimer here. The solutions that we are going to implement here might not be the perfect solutions or optimized solutions and but definitely it will be a good start to increase your programming skills and your problem solving abilities. Apart from this one thing to remember is that there can be many solutions to solve one problem. So let's get started. Problem statement is write a Java program for a given input array A consisting of n integers returns biggest value x which occurs in A exactly x number of times and if there is no such value the function should return 0. So what it means is that we have an in given integer array in that array there are some values and some of them are repeated. So we have to find out the maximum biggest value in the given integer array which has occurred exactly x number of times. So if we look at the first input array, the 8 is the biggest integer value. And how many times it is repeated? It is uh, not repeated at all. The occurrence is only 1. But if we look at the next maximum value that is 3. If we calculate 3 is repeated 3 times. So the output is 3. But you will ask 2 is also repeated and which is also repeated exactly 2 times. But if you compare 2 and 3, the 3 is greater that's why the output is 3. Remember we have to find the biggest value x that is repeated exactly x times. So there are two conditions. So it should be the biggest value and it should be repeated exactly that number of times. So 3 is repeated 3 times and 2 is repeated 2 times but 3 is greater than 2 so we are printing 2. Now how to solve this problem? So first step would be to find out the number of occurrences of each element in array and what would be the best uh, collections to store this information it should be a map which contains key and value data. So our key is the element in the array and the value is its number of occurrence. Now the second step would be to find the biggest key. Find out the biggest key in math Step 3 would be compare the biggest key with its value. If the key and the value matches we get the answer otherwise find out the next max key and at last we will get the 
our answer right so first thing is to find out the number of occurrences of each element in the array and we will store that information in the hash map and the second thing is in the map we have to find the biggest key and we have to compare the biggest key with its value if they both match then that is our answer if they doesn't match then we have to look for another key which has which matches its value so first i have written down the input arrays and we will first do it for the first input array and then we will repeat the same procedure for remaining arrays so i am writing a function called find biggest value x in the array so let me create a function like this then we need to create a hash map which is of type integer and integer now we have to iterate over this array so i will write a for each loop and what we need to do here is insert each element in the array into a hash map but before inserting we have to compare if the it is if we are inserting it for the first time we have to make its count as occurrence count as 1 and if it is if it already exists in the map then we have to <coughs> increment it by 1 so what i'm going to do next is first check if the element already exists or not using contents key function right if the element already exists i need to increment the existing count with 1 for this key i need to first get the existing value plus 1 this is when if the element already exists in the map if it doesn't exist and we are entering it in the for the first time then we have to put it occurrence as 1 like this now let us print the array at the end so that we will get to know whether we have correctly inserted array into a map okay so for the first array we are getting 2 as the key and it has occurred two times so occurrence is 2 for 3 occurrence is 3 and for 8 occurrence is only 1 so we have got the correct output in the map now what we need to do is find out the maximum key which has occurred exactly that number of times so we need to iterate over this key set so i'm writing another for loop to iterate over the keys in the map so there is a key set function to get all the keys in the map and i am i'm repeating this for loop for each key in the map if we get the maximum key early then we can return the function directly so we don't need to iterate over the entire for loop here but in order to find out the max key we need to first find out the max key between all the keys so i will write another function to find out the max key in the key set so max key is equal to i am writing another function called find max key and i am sending the entire map over here so this will give me the max key somehow my intuition is not working so i am 
writing the function on my own which accepts the map and this map is of type integer and integer like this now I need to write some logic which will give me the max key in the hash map so what I need to do so I will write create a variable called max is equal to 0 now I will again iterate over the the keys in the map here I will say int i is equal to map dot key set so out of all these key set I have to find the max key so I will compare if max is less than i then I would say max is equal to i all right and this will give me the max value in all these so I will say return max okay so I am expecting that this function will return me the max key in the key set so before we proceed further let's print out the max key are we getting the correct key or not okay like this max key let me quickly run and test it so we are getting max key that is good now we also need to find out the max key value max key value is equal to map dot get max key we have to find out the value for that x key and we will also print the max key value like this if these two value matches then we got the answer if they don't match then we have to keep repeating this procedure so I will compare if max key equal to equal to max key value I will simply say we got the, our answer and I will return the max key right away if they match and if they don't match and we have to first remove this max key from the map look for the maximum key in the remaining keys in the map so what I'm going to do next is remove this max key from the map and keep looking for other max keys in the map and if you don't find any such max keys it will return 0 if it finds the max key which is exactly x number of times then it will return the max key okay so let's run it again okay so output for int array 1 is 3 that is our expected output right we are good here great now let's test it for second array I am going to repeat these two sentences for second input array. So what I am going to do is just use input array 2, input array 2, output 2 and it should be output 2. So I am calling the same function for input array 2 and I am expecting output as 2. Okay, so for the first input array output is 3 now we are getting correct output for int array 2 as well now let's try it for the third input array so output 3 int array 3 
and output also three. Now let's find out. It should be zero. Okay, we are getting zero. We have put there. Now let's quickly try it for array four and five as well. So you can be sure that it works for all input arrays. So let me change it to four. Four. It should be five, and it should be five in here, and output also should be. Four, four, and here it should be five and five. So for four it should be zero, and for fifth array it should be five. Let's run it. Okay, so for input array five we are getting five, and for the array it is getting zero. I'm going to comment out this print statement so that we will see. A clear output. I'm just commenting out the unnecessary part in here. And if we run the program now, we will see the correct output for all the input array, right? So we are expecting output three two zero zero five, and we are getting exactly same output three two zero zero five. So this is how we have implemented the problem. Now there is one way we can quickly optimize this program a little bit. See, we have written a separate function to find out max key in the given key set, right? And I, I even I even added a for loop in here to find out the max key. This is a very simple logic to find out the max key in an integer array or in a given map. But how can you optimize this? So definitely we can optimize this. So instead of writing a separate function, we can use the inbuilt functions that are that is available in the Java. So I'm just going to comment out this function and use a inbuilt function from the collections class. So there is a collections class which gives us a max value from the collection. And now what is the collection? Map dot key set. We have to get the maximum value from the key set. Right, so I'm just using the collections dot max method, which will give me the max value from the collection. Instead of writing the whole function for finding the max key, I can get it in one statement. So just let's just run it again to verify that it works as if. See, we are getting the same output as before. All right, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. I will see you soon for another lesson.